family. Hope you guys are having a wonderful blessed evening because Grammy is. And welcome to the first night of Christmas cookies and treats. Yes, first night. Woohoohoo. All right. I've got a lot of ingredients to get together, but we're going to take one cookie dough and we're going to be able to make multiple cookies out of it. Now, I can't make all the cookies that list that it does. We'd be here till midnight. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to pick the three favorite of my family. We're going to do chocolate chip, we're going to do peanut butter, and we're going to do oatmeal raisin. So, if you guys stick around, I'm going to gather all the ingredients, and I'll be right back. Okay, family. I'm back, and I've got all of our ingredients set. Uh, this recipe is called a crazy cookie dough base recipe, and it's just all kinds of different kinds of things you can make with it. So let's talk about what you can do. You can make, I'm gonna give you a link to where I got this recipe, because this is not my Grammy's own recipe. Okay, I got a confession. I am not the best cookie maker in the world. There, I've said it, I said it, I said it. I make delicious cookies but I make ugly cookies. So, <laughs> I had to go, I do have some cookie recipes and I do do cookies at Christmas and that we do, uh, you know, the sugar cookies with the grandkids and stuff like that, but usually they puff up like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Let's just be honest. But these are all my recipes that I've gotten and we're gonna learn some things together. I like to be honest with you guys because I can get in here and act like, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm more of the candy maker in the family. I make the candies. I make the cakes. I make cakes. I make good cakes. But cookies are a whole new set of ball game rules. So anyway, <laughs> we're gonna do this together. How about that? So this recipe that I have borrowed, um, it's gonna be, you can use it to turn it into classic cookie, chocolate chip cookie, oatmeal raisin, double chocolate chip cookie, peanut butter cookie, chocolate hazelnut cookie, s'mores cookie, salted caramel cookie, and a birthday cake cookie. And we're, like I said, we're gonna do the oatmeal raisin, we're gonna do the chocolate chip, and we're gonna do the peanut butter. I'm gonna double the recipe. So what you see me to do into this evening, I am doubling, but I will put the single recipe in the description underneath the, the thing. <laughs> I'm goofy and silly. It's been a long day. And you can see it's uh, probably about 7 o'clock at night. And I need to get this video done and edited and put up for you guys because I love you. And I love spending time with you. And we're going to make these cookies. So let me get you guys turned down and let's see what we got going on. So now what we're going to do to this is we're going to add, it calls for a cup of butter. But we're doubling it. So we're going to go with two cups of room temperature butter or margarine, whatever you've got. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these beaters down because I like to start working on creaming that butter. Inside my mixer over so it can get to it. When I got my mixer locked down, I do. I'm gonna tell you, I love this mixer but it is the world's worst of not getting anything under the beaters. I got a bigger one. I just didn't want to drag it out tonight if I didn't have to. But I think for the rest of the cookies this week, I'm gonna drag her out. And this butter margarine is not quite to room temperature, but it's close. Okay, so now to this, it calls for one egg, but we're doubling. So we're gonna add two eggs to that. I got my nice, pretty farm fresh eggs. Um, hello. Do you know what I got going on here? Let me set that down. One of the things we got going on here is she's not locked in. I'm telling you, I'm having a crazy, crazy day. Crazy, crazy day. We're gonna make some, some wonderful cookies. I'm gonna bust me an egg in this. We're gonna do two eggs in there. Let's go ahead and get it going. One egg. 
I'm gonna show you the size of these eggs. Can you see the size of them eggs my babies are making out there? We have a thing, a little gadget that we bought at uh, Tractor Supply, and it will actually tell you if it's a large egg, uh, an extra large egg, a medium egg. And so far, we're getting a lot of large eggs, extra, and extra large. So let's get that going. And I always have to take my spatula and kind of run it over here, kind of help this along. Get those eggs in there. Kind of get that creaming up. And I don't have a paddle on this one. I do on my big one, but my big one is so heavy and bulky. And for a little batch of cookies, a couple batches of cookies, I just don't like to get it out if I don't have to. This, this one right here fits under my counter and I can just grab it out. Okay. Hope that really gets going. Two hours later. <laughs> Ever watch those videos where it says two hours later? Okay, so now. So we're going to have to go get the sugar. I didn't have my sugar out. So we're doubling this. It calls for three-fourths a cup of white sugar. So that's going to be a cup and a half. There's the first half a cup. Here's the second half a cup and one more half a cup and that'll be our cup and a half. I've got a lot of stuff measured out so I'm running out of measuring cups so we're just going to have to work with it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we got that going. So our next thing that we're going to put in is we're going to put in our teaspoon of vanilla extract but I'm going to put in a whole tablespoon because we're doubling it. So I'll just put a tablespoon because I like a little extra. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. So, let's get some speed going on that. Push everything up underneath those beaters where it can get mixed. Make sure you have your... You remember to set your butter or margarine out because I forgot to. And, uh... <laughs> it will cream and look a little bit better for you if you do that. Do as I say, not as I do. It's smelling good. Smelling delicious. Now it's doing its cherry. Okay, now let's turn that, turn that up a little bit and turn it down. Now, the next thing that we're going to add to this. Half cups of our brown sugar. So, well, it's going to be a really sweet recipe. But we're doubling it, so we have to do what, what it calls for. And I hope to God you guys are able to... The good Lord in heaven, you're able to follow along. Because I feel so unorganized. And sometimes that's just... Let me pack that sugar down. Okay, there's one half. Let's get another half. But this is going to be delicious. And like I said, I've made this recipe before. It's not like I haven't made cookies. Um, I'm just... It's, I'm not the best at it. But I thought, why not get get out of my wheelhouse get into something else and uh you know experiment and have fun and, and making cookies is christmas it's christmas and i get to do this with you guys so that makes this extra wonderful extra extra wonderful now we have that and so now we're going to turn this on, and then we're going to slowly add our flour once we have this, all this sugar incorporated. It's going to be some good cookie dough. It's going to be good, 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 good. And just think, one of you lucky people will get to try these cookies. Now, I can guarantee they're going to be delicious. And you're not just going to get the cookies. You'll get the treats that I make, and I'm good at making treats. Cookies, hmm. We have to see. Okay, so once we have this all incorporated, okay, I'm going to turn it down low, and uh, we're going to turn it down on low, 
and we're going to start adding this flour to it. And it's two cups of flour because we're doubling it, and it would be one cup if we were just making the regular. We've got that all in there. And now this was plain flour, so I had to add my uh, one teaspoon of salt and my two teaspoons of baking soda in there. Get in there, let's start working that together. And I am got the dust going. It's snowing up in this kitchen. Mm-hmm. So let's get that, get that incorporated. It's starting to look like a good dough. Look at that. Starting to look like a dough. coming together. I'm going to flip this out. And on my spoon. And then help break that back, bring that back down. Get that all incorporated. Look at that. Look at that delicious cookie dough. Now I have my convection oven because we're cooking with Bertha tonight, my family. You guys are going to get to see me see Bertha in action. And uh, I've got it preheated with the convection at 350. But this is going to have to go in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes. Then we're going to break this dough up into three different doughs. And we're going to add oatmeal raisins to one, chocolate chips to one, and we're going to add some peanut butter to the other. And we're going to make some delicious cookies. As soon as I can get this finish incorporated, I'm going to put a little piece of saran wrap on it, set it in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes, let it get chilled a little bit. We're going to come back and add our three ingredients to it to make it three different cookies. And it's going to be delicious. It's going to be delicious. And while it's chilling, we're going to do a scripture. So I'll be right back. Like I said, I hope you guys are getting something out of this because it's been a while since I made some cookies. It's been a... I made some chips ahoy. I went to the store and put them in the basket. <laughs> Anyway, I'll be right back. It's probably been since last Christmas since I made cookies, and that's the truth. I'll be right back, and we're going to do a scripture. Okay, my sweet family, I'm back, and I got us a scripture. Our cookie dough is in the refrigerator chilling, and hopefully it's going to turn out delicious. I know it will. So, it says, what I want to share with you is when the rich man came to Jesus, and he says, Now, a man came up to Jesus and asked, Teacher, what good thing must I do to get eternal life? And Jesus said, Why do you ask me about what is good? There is only one who is good. If you want to enter life, obey the commandments. And he asked which one, and Jesus basically said all of them. All of the commandments. Just want to tell you, you never can be good enough. Sometimes we don't feel like we're good enough at anything. But just know none of us are in the good pool. Only God the Father is. So, I just wanted to encourage you. Don't think that if you fall. I, I have a little girl who, who follows us. And um, she put on there today that she's having a hard time and she's struggling. And I just wanted you to know, God don't expect you to be perfect. He knows that He's the only pure one. He don't expect us to be perfect. He just expects us to love Him. And strive to follow the commandments and be good. So, I just thought I would share that with you guys tonight. Because Jesus is good. And he wasn't just a baby in a manger. Oh, no, no. He did much more things than that. So, we're going to pull this cookie dough out of the refrigerator. And we're going to start adding some stuff to it. And we're going to make it delicious. Now, I hope my video is coming out with something good. And I hope you guys were able to hear me. So we're going to pull that out. I want to show you this. It's looking good. I'm having to go from a, tri a tall tripod down to a small one. But I think I'm just going to try to turn you down to where you can see this. And just try to use one. There we go. That way I'm not having to bounce back and forth. We're going to divide this into three. Let me get me a spatula. We'll use the Pioneer 
woman spoon that Regina sent me for my birthday. Thank you, Regina. God bless you. So let's take about one third of this out and put it over here. And I'm just making a little bit of this for you tonight, but I'm going to be doing more of these later. So let's take another third. Because I do these for family and friends. Like I said, I make cookies every year. I'm not known for my cookie making. Nobody's ever complained about how they taste, though. They just ain't always beautiful. <laughs> now, I can make you a pot of beans and some cornbread that will make you knock your socks off, maybe. Possibly. No, not bragging. Okay, to this one, we're going to add a whole cup of chocolate chips. I know that's a lot of chocolate chips, but we like it chocolatey. Now we're going to stir this around and get that in there. Just get it incorporated good. Now that one's ready to scoop out and put on our uh, cookie sheets with parchment paper. This one, we're going to add about a tablespoon of peanut butter to it. We're just going to mix it in. Now that's become a peanut butter cookie mix, and it's going to be good. And I kind of like it when it has the swirls in there, when it's not quite all the way incorporated. Now with our other, we're going to add a half a cup of raisins and a half a cup of oatmeal. And I use uh, the uh, uh, Old Fashioned, so let me grab something to stir this up with. Let me get my good old Ikea spoon over here. Come here, Ikea spoon. And we're going to incorporate this together. And if you could let this chill overnight, this would be even better. But really, 15 to 30 minutes is all you need. And that's incorporated. So now we have peanut butter, oatmeal raisin, and we got some chocolate chip. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to use an ice cream scoop. And I don't want these to be little, little, little. So we're going to use a pretty good size ice cream scoop. So let me bring my pans over here. And... We're going to move these out of the way. Tomorrow, I promise to be a little more organized. So, there we go. We got this ice cream scoop here. I'm going to do that. And we're going to put the chocolate chips on this one. We're going to get them in there. We're going to make some pretty good size chocolate chip cookies. Like I said, I've used this before. And I like to use a scoop because that way you kind of keep the cookie about the same size. I mean, like I said, I just read nobody's perfect. Only God in heaven is perfect. So, an ugly cookie still a delicious cookie. Still going to bless somebody's belly. And these are going to be some pretty good sized cookies. I got enough for one more good cookie in here. Okay. So there we go. Now I'm going to use the same cookie scoop because it's not going to hurt. It's the same batter. I'm going to go in here with some uh, oatmeal raisin. So I'm going to try to get them in there in two pans. So, let's put that over there. We're going to go back in. Same scoop. That's an oatmeal raisin. There's another oatmeal raisin. And somehow I am throwing cookie dough. And that's all I want to put on there because I don't want to get them too close together. These are going to spread out pretty good. So, let's put these in the oven. 350. Convection bake. Probably about, I'm going to say about 10 minutes. Okay, so let's go on to our next one. 
sounding like I'm in a basketball court. <laughs> There's a cookie. We had more of the chocolate chip ones, and these are dry enormous cookies. There ain't nothing little about these. They're gonna be good. That's a little bit of a little mini mini, but he'll be fine. Put that over there. We can go right into this one. It's not gonna hurt nothing. Let's get that in there. Till he's running off with my Christmas towel that fell off the oven. And there with the peanut butter. Now peanut butter we're gonna do just a little bit different because we are going to take a fork and put some sugar on the top of them. And just remember, you have that opportunity to win a gift box of my goodies, my Christmas goodies, and some of them will be not ones that you see me cook that way. Like I said, you won't necessarily win these. These are for demonstration because I want to make you something that's really beautiful and really nice. So let me get a fork. I've got some sugar here and we're going to take a little sugar and we're just going to, and I'm not going to press these down too much because I do want them to kind of spread out and I like that they're kind of blended in with a regular cookie and you get a little chocolate so they're kind of like a swirl. I'll probably be sharing these with my co-workers tomorrow, some of my beautiful library library uh, patrons that come in. These are going in. Anyway, we're going to see how good Bertha's working tonight and uh, see how good that convection oven's working. And uh, as soon as our cookies are done, they come out of the oven, we're going to take a look at them. I pray they turn out good. We still got enough, enough batter in this bowl for, for a cookie. I'll be right back. Okay, family. We are back. Now, you remember at the beginning of this, I had a disclaimer that said, I make delicious cookies, but I make ugly cookies. <laughs> I always get too overzealous and I put them together, but they are delicious. So maybe use a smaller scoop and a little more distancing, but they're delicious, they're delicious. And then over here, I might get see if Grandpa Harold won't come in here and taste one for me. Grandpa Harold, yeah. would you mind coming and tasting one for me? Yeah. Would you like a peanut butter, chocolate chip, or oatmeal raisin? Yeah. <laughs> All three? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I have to show you the size of this peanut butter cookie. Look at the size of this peanut butter cookie. <laughs> like I said, I make ugly cookies. You gotta come over here in front of the camera, honey. Take a bite of that peanut butter cookie. Oh, that's good. Is that good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you like that one? Mm -hmm. You wanna taste that oatmeal raisin? Mm -hmm. Okay, what I'll do is I'll let you take those for lunch tomorrow, okay? And let me get you an oatmeal raisin off of here. Oh, they didn't turn out too bad. Remember, nobody's perfect. Oatmeal raisin, look at that. That one might've got a little too crispy, but we like a little crispy, but they're tender and chewy on the Ooh. inside. Awesome. Okay, there we go. And now you need, he needs to see the chocolate chip. So let me cut him one of those off. So, the super ugly cookie. We'll give him a pinch off the side. Come over here in the camera so they can see you, hun. Oh, yeah. Which was your favorite? They all three good. All three was good? Thumbs up in the camera? Yep. So, chocolate chip. You can look inside there and see all that delicious chocolateness. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Oatmeal raisin. This is a corner piece and it did get a little crispy. I'm learning how to cook in my convection oven. I've got some that are even that are nice looking. And then we have this delicious peanut butter cookie. They all turned out delicious and they all turned out good. 
but I needed a little bit more spacing. That's why you need to practice. You don't see a baseball player go out to the field without practicing, but Grammy is always going in the kitchen without practicing. Anyways, I'm going to put these in a Ziploc bag for Grandpa Harold to take with him for lunch tomorrow. Okay, never mind. He's coming after him right now. <laughs> yeah, we'll eat him like <laughs> So, like I said, uh, if you win the gift basket, you may not win one of these because I want to make you a pretty one. And this was my practice run, and I always like to be real with you guys. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed time with me in the kitchen because I had a good time with you. Uh, I left my good tripod at work, so that's why some of the angles tonight was a little bit different, a little bit weird. I'll remember to bring it home tomorrow. So, I hope you guys have a wonderful, blessed evening. I love you, and I'm praying for you, and Merry Christmas. I'll be back tomorrow night with another delicious treat or cookie recipe. I'm not for sure what's on the agenda tomorrow. I've got a list of them over there, and we're going to do something good. Y'all be blessed now. Bye-bye.